Hi kids and welcome back to the Keys Kids channel and I'm Miss Keys. We are back for another episode in the Christmas portion of our holiday series. We are so close to Christmas you guys. It's amazing. The lights are out. The trees are out. It's going to be amazing. Christmas is next week. Ah! I'm so excited. Now for this episode, we are going to be reading a book called Elfie the Elf by Cheryl de Bleshauer and Christian Gotten. And I am so excited to take another trip to the North Pole to see what this elf is all about. Now, don't forget, while we're reading, we don't specifically have a lesson focus. Instead, we want to focus in on enjoying the book we are going to read. It's great to always have something to look for and to teach, but it's even more important to just love to read. And so during this whole holiday series, that has been our focus. So while we're reading Elfie the Elf, I want you to think about what was your favorite part of the book? All right, all right, I know, I'm done talking. Are you guys ready to read? Well, then put on your Santa hat and let's go! Elfie the Elf by Cheryl DeBleshauer, illustrated by Christian Guyton. Time for bed, children. It's almost nine o'clock and I promised your parents you would both be in bed before they got home. Granny announced as she slowly lifted herself out of her rocking chair. Oh, Granny, we're not that tired yet. It's too early, stretched Rosie as she quickly covered her mouth, mimicking a bedtime yawn. Yeah, Granny, tell us a bedtime story. Tell us about one of your adventures that happened long, long ago, pleaded James as he tugged on her fuzzy blue sweater. Well, children, I have one adventure that I've never shared with another soul. A very long time ago, I made a promise to a very special friend of mine, and I'm not sure you can keep a secret said Granny with a twinkle in her eye. Yes, we can, Granny. I know we can, begged Rosie. Let's go upstairs, and perhaps I'll let you in on a very secretive adventure, Granny whispered as they made it all the way upstairs and sat down by Jane's bed. A very long time ago, when I was just a little girl, my father was stationed to work at the North Pole. I was very unhappy about moving away and leaving my friends behind. When we arrived at the North Pole, I couldn't believe how high the snowdrifts were and how cold it was. But the worst part was that I didn't have anyone to play with. Many nights I cried myself to sleep. I wish I could go back home, but I knew that was impossible. Christmas was getting closer and I didn't think Santa Claus would know where to find me. One night, I thought I heard a strange noise outside of my bedroom window. It sounded like a very tiny squeaking mouse. Quickly, I jumped out of my bed and ran to look out of my window. There, in the snowbank, I saw a tiny blue elf crying. Rosie. Be quiet, Rosie. Let Granny finish the story, snapped James, who sat perfectly still, hanging on to every word Granny spoke. All right, James, I'll continue. I climbed out of my window and very cautiously made my way to see this unusual little blue elf. He was so tiny, no higher than my knee. He had pointy ears and a very red nose. He was dressed in a blue fuzzy jacket with matching pants and his face was really blue. This tiny elf was so upset he didn't even realize I was sitting next to him. Granny looked out the window and continued the story. Hello there little blue elf. Why are you crying? And what are you doing all alone out here on such a cold night? I asked. Oh, you wouldn't understand. Nobody can help me. I'm hopeless, said the little elf. Hopeless? Why 
How did you say that? Santa sent me on an errand, and I got myself lost. I don't know where I am. You know Santa? The real Santa Claus? Of course I do. I am Elfie, one of Santa's helpers. I make toys for children all around the world, and I used to be one of the best toy makers around. Oh, Elfie, what do you mean you used to be one of the best toy makers? I can't do anything right. Everything I touch turns out to be a disaster. All the other elves laugh at me and tell me I'm a terrible toy maker. Oh, Elfie, let me help you. I know exactly how you feel. Ever since we moved here, I have been so unhappy. I don't have any friends, and I bet Santa Claus won't even know where to find me on Christmas Eve. Oh, yes he does. Santa Claus knows everything, and I'd love to be your friend if you would like. Elfie, I would love to have you for my friend. Since we're friends, and friends help each other, let me help you. If you take me to Santa's workshop, I'll help you make the toys, and you'll be the best toy maker once again. Together, Elfie and I trudged through the snowdrift after snowdrift until we finally found a tiny village. It was in the middle of nowhere. Elves of all different colors were busy packing Santa's bags. They were scurrying here and there. And then I saw a reindeer. They were so huge and there seemed to be something magical about them. It was almost as if they understood every single word that was said, Granny continued. One tiny elf saw Elfie, and he called out to the other. Hey, look who's finally back. Hey, Elfie, did you lose your way again? A group of elves surrounded Elfie and teased him about forgetting to put wheels on toy trains and putting soldier heads on the bodies of teddy bears. I couldn't stand to hear how mean these little elves were being to Elfie, and I yelled really loud. Stop it! Stop it! Stop teasing Elfie! He is very kind and sad, little elf. And maybe if you realized that, you wouldn't be so cruel. Just then, Santa Claus appeared. Ho, ho, ho! What do we have here? Elfie, why are you crying? Who is this little girl? You know I don't allow visitors here at Santa Land. Hello, Santa. I'm Jessica. Please don't be angry with Elfie. I asked him to bring me here so I could help him. I motioned to Santa, asking him to bend down, and then I whispered something in his ear. Ho, ho, ho! Jessica, I think you're right. I should have figured that out long ago. Granny, what did you tell him? When Elfie and I were walking through the snowdrifts, I noticed he couldn't read any of the road signs until he was right on top of them. He couldn't see them because he needed glasses. Santa Claus went over to the workbench and found a pair of glasses that were just perfect for Elfie. Oh, Granny, you really met Elfie and Santa Claus. Were you ever lucky, beamed James. I'll never forget that night. While singing a holiday jingle, the elves let me help them pack Santa's sleigh. And the very next thing I remember, I was back at home. But how did you get home? Rosie asked. I don't remember. I guess Santa took me home, Granny proudly spoke. Did you ever go back and visit Elfie and Santa Claus? Questioned James. That's the funny thing. As many times as I tried, I never could find my way back to Santa Land. All I remember is finding a letter and a tape inside my Christmas stocking the next morning. In fact, I think the letter is hiding somewhere in my pocket. Granny pulled the crumpled, tattered piece of paper from her pocket and began reading. Dear Jessica, thank you for all your help. The other elves and I will never forget you. I am giving you a copy of the song you sang with us on Christmas Eve. I'll always remember you. Love, Elfie. Granny, do you still have the tape? We want to hear the song, 
Rosie and James begged. All right, if you both go to bed right now, I'll hunt for the tape first thing in the morning and we'll listen to Elfie the Elf. Rosie and James snuggled up in their beds and fell fast asleep, hoping morning would just be a blink away. The end. What a good story. I loved it and I'm so excited that I got to read it with you guys. Now it's time to get to the good part. What was your favorite part of Elfie the Elf? Was it maybe when the little girl was all sad and down that she moved to the North Pole and then next thing you know she peeks out her window and sees a tiny blue elf? Like an elf? What? Or maybe it's when they got to the uh, elf place like Santa's little land and all the elves came around and started bullying Elfie and she was like, uh-uh, don't talk to my Elfie like that. You guys are being mean. I love that she stood up for her friend. Or maybe it was at the end when Grandma pulled out the note from Elfie. She still had the note from Elfie. Well, my favorite part was when the little girl kind of peeped what was going on with Elfie and she whispered in Santa's ear. And then Santa gave him the perfect pair of glasses for his little Elfie eyes. And he became the best toy maker all over again. I thought that part was so sweet and I was so excited for Elfie. Yay! Oh my God, I'm so glad you guys got to join me again today. Now next week is the big week! Ah, it's Christmas! Remember Monday on the Keys Kiss channel Instagram, you'll find out our book for our Christmas story. And I think you're gonna like it! And then we're going to be doing a very special drop next Friday on Christmas Day of our Christmas story. I cannot wait to read with you guys next week. I'm so thankful that you guys join me every week. Please don't forget to go like, subscribe, share with everyone you know, and leave a comment below. Other than that, guys, it's time to go. But no worries, because I'm going to see you guys next week on the Keys Kids channel. Bye!